Grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I'm Father Steve Sellers, and this is Dot. <laughs> Silly rescue puppy, 90 pounds, about a year and five months old. Uh, this is our brief daily message of hope, and I hope you're in a good place this morning and are uh, staying out of the extreme heat. Uh, if you can, uh, it's miserable outside. Uh, and people are praying for rain, and we know that that's happening in places. Uh, but uh, I was thinking today of a, of a 200-year-old hymn that uh, is, is one of, that's been one of my favorites called My Faith Looks Up to Thee. Uh, and it explains to us and teaches us how important it is uh, to keep our thoughts lifted up toward the Lord and uh, not to let them go down into the, the muck and the mire of the things of this world because uh, they will drag us down if we continue to look down. Um, and if we continue to look up, our thoughts can lift us up. Uh, this is a beautiful old hymn, My Faith Looks Up to Thee. wonderful old hymn, The Importance of Looking Up. And I've been thinking of a sentence that I uh, used to use with uh, my students and it came back to me today. I would write on the chalkboard, you are what you blank. What one word describes who you are? Uh, it could be an activity. Usually you are, people think you are what you eat. And that is true. As you take things into you, you sort of take on whatever goodness or badness those things have. And so in many ways that's true. Some people want to say that uh, you are what you hope. Uh, and that's a good one because hope pulls us forward. Uh, hope focuses on what is in front of us and that's important uh, to be involved in hoping. Some people say you are what you read. That is so important because people don't read much anymore. Uh, and so it is important that we do read. You are what you read, that the types of the things, the substance uh, comes into you and helps mold you into uh, what, uh, what the works are, are talking about. Uh, people say you are what you see. Uh, in many ways, that's true also, especially the people who stick their heads in front of a screen all day and watch flashing lights and explosions and uh, uh, disparate noises and all of that. Uh, that becomes who you are. Uh, and most anyone who's ever taught can tell who the gamers are in their class among the children, the ones who cannot focus for any length of time at all, who are very impulsive. Uh, and also some people say you are what you think. That's important uh, to, to think positively uh, and hopefully and uh, think uh, toward the future. But I happen to believe the most important thing is you are uh, what you pray. Prayer connects us to the one who has the future in his hands. Uh, God knows where he wants you to be tomorrow. He, wants, he knows where he wants you to be a week from now, a year from now, a month from now, a decade from now. He knows where he wants you to be. And not only that, but he knows how to get you there. So we pray our way into the future and let God uh, hold on to us and we keep our faith looking up to him. And so I hope you have a blessed day today, and God willing, uh, Dot and I will see you here again tomorrow.